You an idiot! Kamala's background is just as black as the weave in Megan Thee Stallion's head. Hello. I'm Mr. Ed. And while we on the topic of Mr. Ed's tail, weave, revealing attire, and twerking has become synonymous with the black woman's image in America. He ain't lying. And it's embarrassing as hell to proper black women and is proof as to why we should be happy that this country is ran as a democratic republic and not a full-on democracy. What you talking about, Willis? I'm talking about the fact that there is a large and active demographic of people that are planning to vote for Kamala but couldn't tell you three policies without pulling out their phone to Google it. You stupid. A lot of people, mainly women, are voting for Kamala because she's a woman and, and somehow black, black all of a sudden. You stupid. You stupid. You, 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 you stupid. If this country was a full-on democracy, New York and California places people are fleeing from would be deciding our elections. So it's only right in the birthplace of the culture. It's also the same place to launch the first African-American woman to run for president. Hold up. Wait a minute. The first African-American woman to run for president. They not like us. They not like us. They not like us. So I realize that this is a rough road, but a catalyst for change in a society it's usually persona non grata with those who have been the beneficiaries of the system. A catalyst for change has to be able to withstand the insults, the humiliations, the abuses, and the slurs. What's wrong with my running for president of this country? After all, for 15 years, I have been the ghost writer for a lot of them. I have been the ghost writer for a lot of them. Welcome to the channel, it's your host NGE and we back with another video. And in this video, we're gonna discuss how Kamala's presidential campaign in Atlanta turned into a Magic City show and why black women should stop pretending that Kamala is black and has the black community's best interest at heart. As they say, they not like us. They not like us. They not like us. They not like us. There is an uncomfortable conversation that needs to be had about pandering to the low intelligence. Donald Trump, on the other hand, has been talking a big game about securing our border, but he does not walk the walk. Or as my friend Quavo would say, he does not walk it like he talks it. The largest demographic in the U.S. is the low intellect, white, black, and Hispanic female. Why do you care? Because I love you. These women have been raised as a hive mind of single, hedonistic, liberal educated pseudo feminists. They are the metaphorical stormtroopers of the shadow cabal and corporations that actually run this country. This is why they're so predictable and you can tell their programming from just looking at them. Proper men are the only resistance to government dependency and technically legal monopolies like Amazon. This is why we're starting to see third places like malls begin to disappear. Single and unmarried women are the largest consumer in America and also hold the most debt. So don't get it twisted. It's by design that we have a gender war going on that rewards hot girls like Megan the male horse. Yeah, girl, I'm out here in these streets. Meaning... These women left to their own devices will go about destroying relationships and families and ultimately denying male leadership in a nuclear household. They'll be so focused on the pursuit of happiness, they'll forget to invest in the pursuit of knowledge. So when it comes time for politics, the mainstream media does the thinking for them. Ask South Korea how that's working out, by the way. Then ask yourself, what group of women is mostly unburdened by the critical thinking man in the home? And if the proper man is not there to control the woman's mind, the question is, who does have control of her mind? The answer is Megan the Stallion. Not the woman, 
but the image. Her image and attitude represent everything a proper black man would not want his daughter to be. And Kamala represents the agenda of corporations that wish to see black women replaced. And black women agree to be replaced by acknowledging Kamala as black. Weave symbolizes black women's addiction to covering up and whitewashing the blackness out of their image. And the mindset that black women have are causing black men to replace them with mixed daughters that will also be considered black. The only thing that Kamala will do for the black community is bring back unborn baby deleting. Fact. And statistically, the most deleted baby is what would be born as a black girl. So this black when convenient presidential nominee is confirming the agenda full stop. And that agenda is, I am what black women will be the more my party has their mind under its control. I like to shout out all the black women that see what's up and ain't going for it. It's obvious that Kamala is the selected, not the elected, and the proof is in the pudding after people got up and left after the Megan the Male Horse show was over. I think Atlanta is only a swing state because it has a large population of black men, and most black men ain't like Quavo over her. And in the words of my brother Takeoff, let me get a Kamala! Even pro-black men ain't going for this nonsense because black men in general are not sold on identity politics. You're gonna have to tell us what you bring into the table and if neither are bringing anything to the table, we're gonna go with the lesser of two evils. Trump wants to fix the border situation. Kamala wants to help delete unborn black girls. See black women, Maria and her man are going into black communities and building multi-generational households then turning those communities into little Latin America and then circulating their dollar within that community. It wouldn't surprise me if they formed their own political group in the future, seeing as they're the second largest demographic in the United States. Black women, all two of y'all watching, the Gen Z Latina is the second generation not upholding Mayor Orlarasa. Y'all better do your research. I remember another interview I saw with Kamala Harris Art, and she said, somebody asked her, what are y'all going to do for black people? And she said, we can't pass laws just for black people. She said this, we can't do things just for black Well, Kamala Harris, can I ask you a question, Madam Vice President? If, if the Democratic Party can't do anything just for black people, why did y'all pass a law only for Asians? Why did y'all pass a law only for Native Americans? Why did y'all pass a law only for transgenders? Why did y'all pass a law only for LGBTQs? Why did y'all pass a law only for immigrants? Mm. 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 But anyway, man, that's the video for today. And if you enjoyed the video, be sure to like the damn video. Be sure to click her to see how Swirl Queen bragged about how much it's better to be with Brad. Now she's financially taking care of his ass in America. Be sure to follow me on TikTok at NGE, never good enough, all one word. Or follow me on Instagram at NGE underscore never good enough. Or if you want to do some business with me, then be sure to hit me up on my email at NGE, never good enough at gmail.com. And remember, become the change you want to see. It's your boy, NGE. Peace.